Welcome back. These are the latest updates in the ongoing crisis on the Korean Peninsula. North Korea has conducted a military exercise with its air force to practice strikes against enemy ground targets and naval targets. These included attacking simulated aircraft carriers with both warplanes and helicopters. According to South Korea, who have been monitoring these exercises, the aircraft included the Sukhoi Su-25, the MiG-29, the MiG-23, the MiG-21 and the MiG-15. Kim Jong-un watched the drills along with his top military leaders and apparently told his soldiers that flying at low altitude was a skill that was urgently needed. This comes straight after the joint US and Japanese exercise that involved the two supercarriers, the USS Carl Vinson and the USS Ronald Reagan, along with their support vessels, and a helicopter carrier from Japan. It also involved fighter aircraft from the Japanese Air Force and the US Navy practicing combat skills. This exercise was in response to North Korea's latest ballistic missile test just one week ago that landed in the sea close to Japan. This is just one of 12 tests of various types of ballistic missiles that North Korea has fired since Donald Trump became president earlier this year. Still not able to produce a working ICBM or intercontinental ballistic missile, the threat from the north is still very real. Apparently Kim Jong-un has told his pilots to be ready to strike American carriers, stating our revolutionary forces are combat ready to sink a US nuclear powered aircraft carrier with a single strike. This follows on from North Korea's assertion that the US is preparing for an invasion. For its part, America has flooded the region with military assets in an impressive show of force in the hope that it will deter Kim from conducting further nuclear tests and advancing his missile program. Unfortunately this appears to be having little effect on the chubby dictator who has not responded to military threats or increasingly harsher UN sanctions. With both sides seeming to be continuously flexing their military muscles in response to each other's moves, it would only take a spark to ignite this highly tense situation. And with North and South Korea facing each other across the most heavily militarised border in the entire world, it wouldn't take much. In my next video I will be exploring the devastation that could easily erupt and spread across the region and beyond, even without nuclear weapons. As the situation develops we will try our best to keep you informed, so please like and subscribe for further updates. The world is watching, so be kind to each other.